12 month drew you in like is it that you don't have to have two different locations or exactly and you know we had a you have a home in summer and a seasonal camp site and you're never at home so mm. you go home just to mow the lawn pick up <laughs> your mail, and then you'd go back as retired people anyway like we we were at the seasonal all the time in the summer and it's like well this way we can combine it all yeah it's like the seasonal is your home like the other pluses that came with it just downsizing life is simpler life is less expensive all those things when you combine it all into one it's it's unbelievable yeah sounds like a good enough reason for me oh yeah <laughs> when you downsize to a park model you don't have a basement so yeah think of the things that you used to put in your basement in your home and now you put them in the loft. That's basically like our Christmas stuff is all up there. Yeah. You know, big boxes of gift wrap and board games and yeah. all that that stuff goes up there. Things, and you just have to remember that even though it is a heated garage, it's beautiful. It's not, we don't keep it heated. Yeah. So yeah. The, the items you put up there, you just gotta make sure that temperature wise they're, they're gonna be okay. Yeah. yeah, perfect for Christmas decoration. So, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. So tell me a little bit about, more about that move-in process. Were there some challenges with, obviously you had a lot of changes moving from two different homes into one and... Mm -hmm. It's hard. Yeah, downsizing is is difficult. Uh, it's a kind of a stage, it goes in stages. You do your first downsizing and you think, okay, I did really good. Uh, I did really good. <laughs> <laughs> then you, you got to go to the next stage, downsize again. And I think the last stage is the most painful in terms of deciding what you really don't need anymore. Yeah. And, and um, we were talking about it and we said, like, don't rent a unit and stuff all your stuff in a storage locker because that's I just, did that. It just kind of prolongs it. Yeah. Um, you know, have a long range or a short range plan, I would say. To gift away things, uh, to find people to take those things that you love that you can't have anymore, and uh, and big garage sale and find some stuff on the internet. But yeah, yeah, I had so much stuff coming from a six bedroom home that I rented a locker for a year and paid for it. And when we finally got around, Carol and me to go into the locker and going through it, half the stuff we just didn't need. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Looks How like, does it feel now that you have gone through the process, like oh, now that you're here? Oh, it's a little less painful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually very liberating. Yeah. Uh, you feel really good when you've gotten rid of that stuff. And, and it's something you just don't want to pass on to your kids, you know, like and let I'm them not... take what they want and then just take, take the rest, give away the rest because uh, now, uh, you know, we're, we're downsized to what's essential and, and they don't have that to and, go through. Everybody's got stuff. Oh, yeah. We had lots of stuff. Yeah. And you think it, it's not much and then you try to move it and then yeah. it's like, oh yeah. It's like, well, I haven't used this for two years. Why, why are we keeping it? And what made you decide to go with more of a permanent summer location as to, as opposed to like moving around all the time? Oh, we did that when our kids were young. We we hauled that trailer all over the place. We went from motorhome to fifth wheel to travel trailer. We did it all. And then we went to the house with the pool. And then we thought, this is it. We need to want it someplace permanent. You know what? We're at that age now. We're retired. We don't want to keep packing up and moving. We're just too old for that. We just want to come here and relax and enjoy. This is our retreat. So that's why, yeah, we'd rather have this gives us the space for our family. It's got all the storage we'd ever need or want. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. When people ask me, we've had a lot of people come and ask us, just chat, like they're thinking they're maybe gonna pull the trigger and do something like this. Uh, the way I put it to them, when the time is right and it, you know you're doing it, it makes the getting rid of stuff a lot easier. Yeah. And um, really, 
we, you know, downsized considerably, but um, we've got more than enough space. Yeah. You know, with the size of the building, you know, you get used to all this over the years, you accumulate bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, the, the size of the building is okay. Yeah, that's all we need. Well, yeah. we've got a storage unit, like at first, and put a lot of stuff in storage, things that we weren't sure until we were actually he in the unit that if different kinds of furniture and stuff would fit and go with the decor and stuff. And, um, and just bit by bit, we've downsized our storage unit twice now. So now we're just in a smaller one. And our plan is over the winter to completely get, like downsize the rest to get rid of it. So I recommend that if you get a storage unit, then you can, like you have to live in something and get a feel for it before you really know what you should do or what you want to do, right? Yeah, for sure. The, the you one, gotta figure it out. Sorry. Yeah. Um, the one thing I'm I just thought of was the furniture we had. We had just gotten new leather couches in the city and a new dining table and all that. Very likely that stuff, unless you got a smaller footprint uh, at, uh, at the place you're coming from, very likely it's going to be too big uh, uh, for yeah. these areas. So which was nice with the furniture coming with this unit. We started with that and we'll just keep changing up to what we need. So so that made it a little easier that we knew we just couldn't bring the big stuff. And right. we, we built an addition at the, that. And that's been like, uh, like it's saved us in a lot of ways. One for me, there's the, the uh, counter and the, what do you call it? island the island <laughs> that uh you we can sit at and it's it's big it's got four stools on it but uh i used to have with the kids i have sunday dinner every sunday and it's just not the same when you're sitting in a row so i really wanted to have like it didn't have to be a dining room table just a kitchen table type of thing and that's what i wanted the, to put in the sun room so that's what we've done and it's worked out really well that extra space has it helped in a lot of ways. Yeah, because yeah, you still want to host and stuff mm -hmm. and have family dinners. Makes sense. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so when you moved in, was it a big adjustment from where you were living before? We're definitely in a smaller space. Um, but I know where everything is in this home. There's nothing I don't <laughs> use or I don't need. Mm, it yeah. didn't make the move. We downsized from a three bedroom house with a basement. Um, and we did downsize pretty good. And then we bought new furniture before our house came and we kind of guesstimated it and everything worked out. Um, and I don't think it's, it's me who has the biggest adjustment, just the drive. But um, the drive was the same from St. James to Regent as it is from Regent to Cherry Hill. I'm just on a highway now. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's the same amount of time I'm in the car. Yeah, different scenery though. Different yeah. scenery. <laughs> we just want to come here and relax and enjoy. This is our retreat. So that's why, yeah, we'd rather have this. It gives us the space for our family. It's got all the storage we'd ever need or want. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> no, it's actually very liberating. Yeah. Uh, you feel really good when you've gotten rid of that stuff. And, and it's something you just don't want to pass on to your kids. Everybody's got stuff downsizing life is simpler life is less expensive all those things when you combine it all into one it's it's unbelievable yeah sounds like a good enough reason for me oh, yeah. <laughs> is this how retired people live and i says i guess <laughs> I'm a country boy. He would have been fine with like 30 acres all by ourselves where I'm like, <laughs> I need neighbors and people and friendships. So and this, is our this worked perfectly. Well, we certainly uh, want to live here forever. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> we don't want to move Excellent. again. <laughs> yeah. He said, I love it here. I don't want to, I don't want to leave. <laughs> and we love it here. Yeah. Be best move we ever done, for sure. By awesome. far, by far the best. And then it's just so peaceful. At night, it's so completely quiet. What a great place to be on a rainy day. And uh, I can end my work day, jump in the uh, cart, get down to the dock and swim. It really is like living at a resort. <laughs>